Mike Harris is a finance editor of Veterans Today who joins us from Oregon. Mike Harris, when we want to look at the U.S. economy, uh, it's hard to make a judgment uh, when you look at different factors involved. But uh, I'd like to zoom in on the Fed's announcement uh, earlier about the uh, quantitative easing that's going to be reduced, which impacted many economies. Is that going to impact also within the United States? No, I, I think that, yes, it will in impact in the United States. Uh, the quantitative easing, though, is, is not the, the main issue that is affecting the core performance of the U.S. economy. Uh, the main issue that's affecting the U.S. economy is something that happened back in the 90s, is when the U.S. entered the free trade agreement, uh, NAFTA, GATT, and allowing China into the WTO. If you remember back to the 1992 election when Ross Perot was running as a, as a candidate, he said that if you sign those agreements, that that giant sucking sound will be U.S. jobs leaving the country. And that's exactly what has happened. Uh, the, the jobs that were supporting the U.S. manufacturing economy have left. They're not coming back. They won't come back until the U.S. takes some, some other policy corrections to, uh, to remedy that situation. And, and quickly, if you can, Mike Harris. Uh, Mike Harris, do you still have yes, us? Yes, go ahead. Yes. Quickly, yes, if you I, can. I still have you. Please go ahead. Yes. Uh, quickly, if you can. Uh, we've seen uh, this uh, performance on Wall Street, and I'm, I'm not a, a man of uh, conspiracy, conspiracy theories, but there are speculations that are being made, and maybe you can shed light on this, that there's a huge crash that is going to be coming. Is that accurate? Is that what we're looking at based on the fluctuations, perhaps, that we've seen on the performance of Wall Street? Well, yes, it is, because Wall Street has made some very, very bad bets. But one of the big policy mistakes that was made by the Bush administration was bailout of the big bank, which was supposed to allow them to get rid of their toxic assets. Uh, the big banks did not do that. They used that money to acquire smaller competitors. Now we have this derivatives bubble, which is out there looming uh, over the big banks. They've made a lot of money off of this, but they also have a great deal of exposure. If this derivatives bubble bursts, the U.S. economy is going to crash and crash very, very hard. Thank you so much for that. Mike Harris, finance editor of Veterans Today. We appreciate that.